Hi there, I'm Taylor Bento, the owner and creator of Bags by Bento, and today I'll be showing you how to crochet my fall leaf coaster pattern. Grab your stuff and let's dive in. This pattern is categorized as a advanced beginner or intermediate pattern, simply because we'll be working in the round and we're using a fairly complex stitch. This is called the Jasmine Stitch. I have a full length tutorial on how to use Jasmine Stitch in the round over on my channel. I will link it above if you are interested. It will um, take you step by step how to keep increasing rounds. For this one, we're just gonna be doing two rounds of Jasmine Stitch. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss future free tutorials. And after you're done with this pattern, feel free to go check out the other ones in my library. I've got some really great bags and accessory patterns. The material I'll be using today is Respun by Lion Brand. This color is amber. I will link this yarn in the description below. I'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook, a sewing needle for the ends, and scissors. Another option, if uh, you don't have the respun on hand, is jute twine. Jute twine is super durable, will last a long time, and it gives a great minimalistic look. Really any yarn will work, whatever you have on hand. Just keep in mind, the bulkier the yarn, the bigger your, co your coaster will be. At the beginning, you can either start with a magic circle or with the simpler method, which is what I'm gonna to do today. Chain four and then slip stitch those ends together. So I'll go ahead and do the chain four. And then I'm gonna insert my hook in the first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull that loop through the loop on my hook. And now I've created a little circle. Now you do wanna find the center of that circle and not place your hook into the chains, but into the center between the chains. Now that I've got my circle, I'm going to chain three. And the first thing we're going to do is a puff stitch. Each time you start a new round of Jasmine stitch, you'll need to do this. So I will yarn over, insert into the center of my circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull that loop up to meet the other two on my hook. Do that one more time, yarn over, insert into the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it up to meet the other ones on my hook. So I should have five loops here on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over one more time. I'm gonna hold this loop, this last loop on my hook, Pull through all five loops. There we go, this can be a little tricky. There we go. And now I'm gonna place my hook in the loop that I just held. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that is my first puff stitch. It should look something like this. Now I'm ready to do the next step, which is a jasmine stitch, but it's not a complete jasmine stitch. We're going to do two petals instead of three. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. So I'll pull up on my yarn, just about a centimeter, yarn over. And then I'm placing my hook in the top of that puff stitch, right here. So right between these two stitches here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on my hook. Now instead of finishing like we did last time, I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna place my hook in the center of the circle. Yarn over, pull up a loop, one, two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now I should have nine loops on my hook. Yarn over, hold, just like we did last time. And turn your hook downward, pull through all nine loops on your hook. 
Now you're gonna put your hook back under the loop you just held. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And there you can see you've got one, two petals. We're gonna continue to do these two petal jasmine stitches until we have six petals in the center. So I'm gonna walk you through that one more time. I'm gonna pull up on my hook, yarn over, place my hook in the top of that puff, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the same space again, yarn over and pull up a loop. Oops, there we go. Five loops on my hook, yarn over, and now insert into the center of the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop. One more time, yarn over, insert into the circle, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Nine loops on my hook, so I'll yarn over and hold, turn my hook downward, and pull through all nine loops on my hook. Place it back under the loop I just held. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. There we go. So now I've got one, two, three petals in the center. One, two, and three. So I need three more. So I'm gonna do three more two stitch jasmine petals and I will meet you back and show you how to close. All right, so I've done my puff and then five two petal jasmine stitches. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six petals in the center here. Another way you can tell if you have done enough is to count these puffs on the outside. So you've got one, two, three, four, five puffs on the outside. And we're about to do a closing puff to complete the circle. So your work should look something like this. Now, don't be too hard on yourself if yours doesn't look quite like this. The stitch takes some practice with tension, making your loops nice and consistent. If your loops are different heights, then it's going to make your work look a little wonky. So just give it some practice before you move on to the next step. Okay, so to close this circle, I'm going to start out like I have been, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the top of my stitch, yarn over, Pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on my hook. But instead of going into the center now, I'm gonna find the top of my puff stitch that I started with. Not the three chains, but the top of the stitch. You'll find a little hole here. I'm gonna insert my hook there, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull that loop through all five loops on my hook and chain one to secure it. Your first round should look something like this. We're going to begin round two the same way we began round one with a starting puff. So I'm gonna pull up on my yarn, yarn over, find the top of the last puff, the same place that we secured this piece right here. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on my hook, yarn over and hold that loop, pull through all five loops, back into the loop I just held, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And now I have my first puff to start round two. Now we are going to do a two petal jasmine stitch just like we did in round one. So we'll pull up, yarn over, insert into the top of our puff stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, oops, five loops on my hook, yarn over, 
insert into the stitch where your puff starts, yarn over, pull up a loop. You're not necessarily pulling it all the way up to meet, you just want it to be a similar height as your first one. Yarn over, insert into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, nine loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and hold, pull through all nine loops. There we go. Back into the loop I just held, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops, yarn over and pull through both loops. So it should look something like this, where you've got your starting puff and then your two petals. Now we're going to do our first three petal jasmine stitch. And to do that, you will start the same way you do with the two petal, by creating a puff in the top of your last stitch, and then in the bottom of your stitch. And then you're gonna continue to the next space You'll see a little hole here where the puffs connect. I'll insert my hook there, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up. So you're inserting into each space two times. Yarn over and hold. You should have 13 loops on your hook. Turn your hook down and pull through all of those loops. It's gonna be a little tricky sometimes. We go back into the loop I just held yarn over pull up a loop two loops yarn over and pull through both of those loops and there I've just created one two three petals for the rest of this round we're gonna alternate between two petals and three petals so we just did three so now I'm gonna do two And now I'll do the three petals. And I'll show you that one more time. Into the bottom of the stitch. And then into the next space. And hold. Pull through all 13 loops. Back into the loop I held. Yarn over, pull up yarn over, pull through both. So you're gonna keep going around and I will meet you back once you are almost to the end and show you how to close. All right, I've alternated between two petals and three petal jasmine stitches around. And for round two, it won't work out perfectly. You'll end on a two and then you'll need to do one additional two petal stitch in order to be able to close. So I've gotten to this point, you should look something like this and you'll notice that you've done two, but there's not enough space for three. So I'll just do another two petal stitch here. So I'll yarn over and insert twice. And then in the bottom of the stitch, yarn over and hold, pull through, back into the loop I held and finish it off. Now you should have a circle that looks something like this. And we're going to finish this round the same way we finished round one. We'll pull up and start like we're doing a jasmine stitch, but stop once we've got the five loops on our hook, find the top of the next stitch, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through all five loops and chain one to secure it. So round two should look something like that. So at this point, we are going to start the border of our coaster. If you wanted an oversized coaster, you could do another round. And if you'd like to learn how to keep increasing with Jasmine stitches, just head on over to my Jasmine stitch in the round tutorial. I'll link it above. Um, otherwise, you will stop here at round two and start your border. And to do that, we are going to use single crochet. And I'm using US terms today, so double crochet in UK terms. 
And in the top of these puffs, I am gonna find just the top two loops. So there's one and there's two. And I'll yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. So that's one single crochet. And I'm gonna do another one in the same space. And then in the hole that connects these puffs, center of your jasmine here, I'll place one single crochet. So I'll be alternating two and then one all the way around. So then I'll find the top of this puff again, just two strands, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and do two in this space, and then one in the next one. I'll keep you going around and I'll meet you at the end. I have done my single crochets all the way around, and now I'm ready to close. I am gonna close with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna find my first single crochet here, pull through a loop, and then pull through the loop on my hook. Now at this point, I can snip off my end, and I'm ready to weave in those ends. And voila, I've got my fall leaf coaster. Should look like this on one side and this on the other. This is a standard coaster size, but if you like the oversized look, you can use a bulkier yarn or you can do an additional round of the Jasmine stitch. Be sure to check out the free written pattern. I have it linked below in the description and go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed.